Hey, 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 Pisces. This is the second time I'm doing your reading. I don't know why. I don't know. It said the file was unsupported. That was a good reading, too. We'll see what comes out. Um, okay, so let's go, Pisces, for Tuesday, October 29th to Wednesday, October 30th. It's always funny when things like that happen. For some of you out there, you will be getting back together. I'll give you a little peek at the past. With somebody you were married to about 10 years ago. That was the reading that just got lost into cyber world somewhere. This was somebody that you had a family with. They just got a mad deja vu. This is for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, and North Node. For all of those who are new to my channel, welcome. Please drop a like below, share, and subscribe if you already haven't before you leave. And for those who are returning, welcome back. I appreciate all your likes, shares, and subscriptions. So, first we have the Page of Swords, Pisces, paired with the Magician. You will be messaging somebody because you want to manifest something uh, with them. I wonder if this... Okay. The Magician is the Gemini card. And the Magician has everything in front of him to manifest what he or she wants. You're also, you're looking into somebody. We'll find out who this somebody is via online. They're online social media. Okay. Who's walking into your life is the Three of Cups in the Wheel of Fortune. It could be a fixed sign, a fire sign. Let's see. And the Ten of Pentacles. Okay. You have two tens here. You did on the other reading, too. You had three twos. Look up three twos. And two tens. It had a lot of synchronicities. So, ten and ten. Tens are all about endings and beginnings. Whoever's coming towards you is somebody who will bring you happiness. And who sees you as their happiness. And family. And pentacles. And they see you as luck. They want to celebrate with you. Hmm. You don't know how you feel about that. What you're missing here is the two of cups that are standing up. This person you know this person from the past and you're thinking about the negative attributes of the relationship that you once had. Tell me more about the way that you respond. Tell me more about the way that Pisces responds to this individual. of swords I feel that you there's still some truths about this relationship that was in the past that you're not clear on so you want to clear that up because I feel like this person wants to go out for a drink with you they're happy they're like hey you know uh, nice to see you again and you're just in this space where, well, wait, wait a minute. I don't think I can go there quite yet because there are some things that were never cleared up. And I can't pretend from what I'm hearing. This is the same person that you're, you were spying on as well. So it's funny that they came in. Hmm. So who approached who? 
want to know who approaches who. Is Pisces or does this person approach Pisces? Mm. This person definitely approaches you. And you're just like, you don't know if you want to look at it, see? It's like, I don't know if I want to look at you. I don't know if I want to go there. But you do because you want clarity. You want clarity. So how does this person respond when Pisces wants clarity about this relationship? Well, a little bit... I don't want to say defensive. I think they're, you know, boundaries. It's interesting because boundaries came up in this last reading too. They're talking to you about boundaries, boundaries that weren't set in the last relationship. This is the same reading from a different perspective. This is the strangest thing. So this person is looking at this situation that you were involved in um, possibly 10 years ago. And I believe you were married to this person. There were no boundaries set up uh, it, when there should have been. There was a little bit of codependency going on. So this person is trying to talk to you about this. Trying to stand up for themselves. Um, at the same time, stand up for the relationship and say, listen, we fucked it up last time, basically. Neither of, one of us had the boundaries that we needed to put in place to maintain a successful marriage, a successful relationship. There was no respect of boundaries. There were no boundaries, right? There was a lot of codependency. So this is part of the clarity that you're receiving. Interesting that this didn't come out. Um, this is so interesting. The tarot is so interesting because it'll give you the same message if, you know, like if I lose a reading. That's so cool. Okay. All right. So how do you respond to this clarity? I do feel, I feel like you do gain clarity with this. Yeah. You gain clarity and you're able to maintain and bring balance back into this relationship. So where do you want to go from here? Where do you take this from here? Because I feel at that point they're leaving it in your hands. The Prince of Pentacles. Yeah. You're like, okay. Let's take this slow. Prince of Pentacles is the slowest moving card in the deck. So you will be all for taking this slow. Because there's a lot of communication that you need to have. To get this to a place of a healthy uh, relationship. So what else can you tell me about the future of this relationship with Pisces and this individual? They could be an earth sign with fire in their chart. The emperor. This is where you're taking it. And I love that this is coming out like in the final stages of the reading. Because this tells me that you'll both have the confidence to put up those boundaries, to, to speak your mind, and to know what you want, and it, know your worth for each of you. You will be on equal footing. There will be an even reciprocity of give and take. It will be very, very free-flowing between the two of you. You will set up the boundaries that need to be set. You will have the communication that is needed. And you will grow together, both in love and in business. And you'll expand and become wise. I'm feeling a very, it's a more mature relationship that you had previously when you were married. I'm feeling marriage 10 years ago. That's what I'm feeling. So Pisces, I hope this video makes it. I hope uh, you enjoyed that reading and that it resonated. Please drop a like below, share, and subscribe. If you already haven't, comment and let me know if this is your story. I want to hear from you. So you have yourself a fantastic day and I will talk to you tomorrow.